So we're going to peel off the protective sticker fill and show the display screen. How nice is that? I know people love seeing peeling off stickers off new gadgets. Nice. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism for you. Last week, the biggest anchor battery I had in my house was this, a tiny one that I keep in my backpack for recharging my phone. But now I have the new Anchor Solix X1 30 kilowatt hour home battery system. So as you can see behind me, we have two 15 kilowatt hour stacks with two five kilowatt inverters above. That's an Australian first. These two five kilowatt inverters are DC connected to my solar panels with four MPPTs. So the solar panels are facing four different directions and the two inverters work together as a virtual 10 kilowatt single phase inverter to export and import power to my house and to the grid. That's really awesome because it means I have plenty of capacity. I can even test it. I even tested it earlier by charging my electric car and using the microwave and home lights and other things at the same time. And the batteries managed it perfectly. It all the energy came from solar and battery combined with no grid consumption whatsoever. Even though I was using almost 10 kilowatt of power draw at all the same time. My battery system was installed by the awesome team at Resync Solar. I'll explain why I chose them after my initial choice of solar installer, a local small company in the inner west of Sydney let me down and how Resync stepped up to the plate and amazed me with their excellent customer service, really good attention to detail and really thorough installation process. We'll give you a bit of a sneak peek of that through this video, but there'll be a separate one focused more on the Resync side of the installation. To this, bat this video is going to be more focused on why I chose the Anchor Solix X1 battery system, its key features, and I'm going to talk with Phil Croc, a representative of Anchor Australia, to reveal some more detailed information about what's coming up with this battery and some technical specs about it as well. Why didn't I choose a battery from SunGrow or Sig Energy or BYD? Really simple. Those batteries are super chunky. I needed a battery that could fit in my narrow side walkway, which is 95 centimeters from wall, my wall to my neighbor's wall. So Phil, one of the things that made me really excited when I found out the, about the Anchor of Solix X1 was how super thin it is. And I could do a bin run and take my trolley out to get mulch and other stuff from Bunnings and drag it back into the backyard without any problems. As people can see, even with the battery installed, there's heaps of room on either side, whether you have a 120 year old house like me or a new build that has only a meter of space to the neighbors. Um, do you find a lot of people interested in that and maybe garages as well? Yeah, the, the one of our biggest strengths is the size. So uh, a lot of batteries uh, that are on the market at the moment are quite wide. Uh, and they require a dedicated space uh, to, to have them installed, this can often impact the home as it's being used. So down the side of a house like this, you don't need a 30 centimetre battery bleeding out into the footpath and effectively making this space useless. Whereas our battery being only 15 centimetres thick, I have a Samsung 22. That's how far it sits off the wall. Yep, I measured so it at 18 centimetres, including the wall mount. So in general, you know, this gives consumers a lot of flexibility, um, particularly for large Australian homes. We like to build big. We like to have it push those limits as far as we can. And this gives them the flexibility. And as you mentioned with garages, if you think about the garage these days, it is becoming another room of the house. People are using it for storage and for uh, gyms and little workshops. This can get tucked up against the wall nice and tight. The edges aren't plastic the plastic is recessed in so if you do happen to bang it you're hitting a metal edge so you're not going to break anything and then they need to get replacement parts in terms of a practical system this kicks butt screen again i will highlight for garage people the light bar along here glows different colors so in white 
that's your normal operation. So that's what we're seeing right now. In blue, that's when you're gonna be in backup mode, in off grid. So when you wanna say you've got the battery installed in the garage and you hit the button, the door rolls up and you see a blue glowing light, you know immediately, hey, the grid's down, there's a blackout. I'll take appropriate steps to make sure that I'm not gonna absolutely drain my battery because who knows these days how long a blackout's gonna last. So in general, Anchor has really thought through a lot of the little practical things that other systems have somewhat taken away over the years. If you care about aesthetics and your home battery is going to be installed somewhere super visible, like your entertainment area, next to your deck, near your front door, well, you want it to look good, not just be a boring white box. Lucky for you, Anchor has an Apple-like so focus on good looks for their products. Even though as a brand, it is Anchor is new to the large home battery space, they've been making batteries, smaller ones, and medium-sized portable ones for camping and tradies for many, many years. And they've been reliable and I've had no problems with them. You also quite possibly have a UFI security camera on your house or one of your friends or family have one. That's also an Anchor product. And I've found their doorbells and security cameras have also worked really well in my house. So I have confidence in that. And more importantly also, they're a 14 year old company, which is really huge. I've noticed already, even though I've had the battery for just a couple of days, that the customer service is pretty good. In fact, super fast, faster than I expected. I noticed that one of the inverters, the light was on sort of permanently for the first day of install. And our installer messaged your team and within an hour it was fixed. So that's pretty impressive. I also asked how come my battery was glowing at night the first night after the install happened. And I got a really good detailed answer saying that it's all about battery calibration. And basically the battery needs to do that on the first night after install. So all the cells are balanced nicely and work optimally and the sort of capacity level is accurate. And uh, if people don't charge the battery to 100% at least once a month, the battery will do that just for self maintenance. It will charge itself to 100% to uh, keep the cells and the capacity left and everything else really accurate and working well. Yeah, so I mean, in terms of the service side of things, uh, it's something that we're working on and we're, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the way we've handled it so far. Since the rebate came out, it, we've been inundated um, as, as I'm sure everyone can appreciate, but we do have customer service uh, locally in Australia. So our installers have a hotline that they can call. They have uh, WhatsApp groups, they have um, text threads, contacts, all that sort of stuff. So that, make, that way they can get access to information uh, while they're on site. Uh, and we also have uh, one of the unique points that Anchor has that, that others don't because we are such a large consumer brand. We have over 300 staff globally to answer questions directly from consumers about their Anchor products. Not only the phone products, but Eufy, um, the, uh, the upcoming car charger, the PPS systems and the X1. So if you've got a question, if, you're, if you're, your mum and dad have got a, a bit more of a technical question, you can't be bothered to get an argument with them over an app again, um, get them to give us a call and we can help walk them through certain systems and certain points that they might want to learn about. So like literally they can call you, it's they not just call. an AI. Don't call me, that's not a good <laughs> idea. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, you can call our anchor service customers, uh, customer service line. So uh, there's, as I said, over 300 staff dotted around the world to help our anchor customers. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cause some companies have just really slow multi-day responses to email service tickets or an AI chatbot, which kind of maybe sort of answers your question, but not really. Yeah, look, I mean, look, we're not always going to get everything 100% right, but we are doing our best and uh, we're looking to hire more people in Australia to have that direct customer support for installers. Uh, and that, that customer call line that they want to call through is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow, that's impressive. So some people might say, Phil, Anchor hasn't been making home batteries for a long time. Oh, is that, you know, they're uncertain. Is it safe? Is it good quality? Uh, what do you reckon about that? Yeah, absolutely. And look, it's a very fair question, particularly with the government subsidy in place now. Um, some confidence I can give consumers like yourself is that Anchor as a business has been around for nearly 15 years. 
we've been making high quality consumer goods for that amount of time. So as I said earlier, some of the phone chargers, uh, the, the PPS, the camping batteries and the Eufy brand, a lot of this stuff we sell directly to the consumer through uh, e-commerce e e stores and directly from our own website. If those products aren't very good, we hear about it directly from the customer. What we find is actually that we are the number one third party phone charging brand globally. Um, and those learnings have carried through to the X1. Um, so the, the robustness in the construction, the quality of the app, the uh, customer experience in general, we have taken those learnings from our consumer goods and brought them into this. And the product itself is actually a couple of years old already. Yeah. One thing that's awesome about this Solix X1 system is that it almost basically has full house backup with this particular setup of a lot of battery capacity and two five kilowatt hybrid inverters working together as a 10 kilowatt inverter. Um, can you tell us more about that, Phil? Yeah, so uh, you know, with all batteries, you expect in a blackout that, uh, that you're gonna end up with some power. Um, so our X1 system uh, per inverter, so in this circumstance, you're running a parallel system which is a virtualized 10 kilowatt system, uh, you're gonna see that uh, you get a 30 amp breaker per inverter for backup purposes. So in this circumstance, you're gonna have 60 amps of backup, which gets you pretty close to a full house. How fast it is? Like people probably won't even notice or that kind of thing? Or? Yeah, look, so in a blackout, say you're sitting at home, you're watching the cricket this summer and someone has an accident and crashes into a power pole, you're probably not going to see that TV even wobble. Uh, it's a 10 millisecond uh, switch over to the, the backup circuit, and you'll be able to just keep sitting there and watching Australia crush England this year. <laughs> yes, let's hope so. And uh, basically the two ways people will be able to tell that the battery switched into off-grid mode is the color will change to blue, and whoever's got an Anchor app installed in the family logged into the system will get a notification as well? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, cool. Another benefit of the DC inverters that are hybrid is that they have black start capability. What does that mean? It means that if there's an outage and the battery runs completely dry overnight and this outage continues, the grid power doesn't get fixed for the next day, which is possible after extreme weather, then my battery will get fed directly by the solar panels on the roof and it'll recharge itself and feed the house and have no problems. I forgot to mention something super important. This is an LFP battery, just like most modern new generation home batteries. It has a super low fire risk compared to the older generation batteries which used NMC battery chemistry like the Tesla Powerwall 2, which you might've seen recall notices about recently for fire risk. This does not have that issue because it uses LFP battery technology, which is much more safe and much more stable. This Anker Solix X1 battery has 100% usable capacity. So it doesn't have a buffer or small amount like some of the other big brands of batteries do, which have about three to 5% of the battery that you can't actually use. This, you can use all of it. Like any LFP battery though, please don't, use this battery dry to 0% and leave it that way for several days. I believe there's a warning in the manual. I think after seven days, there could be issues if the battery is left completely empty. And in terms of ruggedness, uh, it's got C5M corrosion for the actual like battery structure and Correct, the power yeah. module and the Yeah, inverter. so this, this whole system as you see it right now is rated to be installed a lot closer to the ocean than any other system available in Australia. And this is a really important point for those who live near the beach. It, you've, you've got to consider what salt water does to things over time. So a lot of brands, I know one brand can only be installed a kilometre from the ocean. Others are 500 <laughs> metres. We can be installed outdoors on a wall like this, 300 metres from the ocean. And we can even be installed even closer. We can go 50 metres directly from ocean water if it's within a protected space like a garage or a shed or a carport that isn't directly exposed to sea spray. So it does give consumers a lot more confidence and flexibility in terms of their choice and where they want to install it. And it gives us access to customers that have been previously either sold something that isn't warranted and they don't know it, or are looking for something that's robust 
and tough enough to handle the Aussie conditions. Cool. All batteries have what's called a throughput warranty over their lifespan of 10 years. I think it's 14 kilowatt hours. Megawatt hours. Sorry, megawatt hours, a lot more than kilowatt hours, for the 10 years for the Solix X1. And you can divide that into years and days to figure out how much you can power cycle each battery for each module, because each module is separate, before it hits the warranty limit. Um, is that going to be visible somewhere easily on the app sometime, Phil? Yeah, so we are working on multiple app updates to, to build in some additional features and information for consumers to access those little more detailed bits of information that customers would like. But in terms of the throughput warranty, I just would, you know, I'll touch on that for a second. 14 megawatt hour throughput per module. And each battery is individually optimized. So that way it doesn't work like a water tank, like we said earlier, where you're just gonna be cycling this one most of the time, this one sometimes, and maybe this one never. It works sideways. So each battery is being filled and emptied in an even manner to spread out that load, which gives you access on average to an additional 2000 megawatt hours of, uh, cap ah, damn it, 2000 kilowatt hours of additional capacity throughout the life of the battery. Yeah, because they've got built-in DC to DC optimizers, whereas older generation batteries from some other brands don't have that. And when you get batteries with different states of health, it doesn't really work optimally. Correct. Um, and one of the big features on top of that is if you want to upgrade in the future, and in three years time, you wanted to add a, a module each. In other brands, what you'll find is that you adding that module, it will only work to the weakest battery in the stack already. If you add a module to this, you're just adding five more kilowatt hours to it. So let's say that this 15 kilowatt hour stack is degraded to 13 for argument's sake. If you added another module, you'd take it up to 18. In other businesses, you'd be adding that module and it would be averaging down to the stack that's already there. I'm gonna to be totally clear and upfront and honest with you as always. This is a sponsored battery system and I'll show you on screen exactly what Anchor and Resync Solar supplied as part of the sponsorship deal. They give me total control about what I say and honestly able to say whatever I want about the battery and the service and how it works. They each approached me because they could see that I really care about combating climate change and helping people understand that a fully electric house with electric car, maybe electric e-bike, and powered by solar and batteries is the way forward to help Australian households decarbonize and stop emitting pollution into the air with their household activities. And I'm really interested in educating people about that. And Anchor and Resync thought that by offering me this sponsored battery deal, they could help me explain how solar and batteries and all electric houses work over the next few years as more and more and more people across Australia join my household in being gas-free, fully electric. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.